17 Lessons People Learn Too Late in Life How you approach life says a lot about who you are. To succeed in life, you must be in a constant state of adaptation, unwittingly unlearning old rules, relearning new ones, and doing more of what makes you come alive. Most people operate on autopilot, doing the same things today that didn't work yesterday, they are caught in a cycle. They rarely stop to measure the impact of their actions on themselves and others, and how those actions affect their total well-being. In this video, we are going to show you 17 lessons people learn too late in life. Welcome to a new video from the Social Psychology Masters YouTube channel. If you are new here, subscribe for more social psychology videos. And comment down below, I subscribed, and let us welcome you. Let's start. Number 1. Your dream doesn't really matter to anyone else. Some people might take an interest. Some may support you in your quest. But at the end of the day, nobody cares or will ever care about your dream as much as you. Number 2. Friends are relative to where you are in your life. Most friends only stay for a period of time, usually in reference to your current interest. But when you move on, or your priorities change, so too do the majority of your friends. Some of you might disagree with this point, but this is one of the life lessons that people learn too late in life. Number 3. Your mental potential increases with age. As people get older, they tend to think that they can do less and less mentally, when in reality, they should be able to do more and more, because they have had time to soak up more knowledge. Being great at something is a daily habit. You aren't just born that way. Number 4. You miss a lot when following the same routine every day. If all you do is follow the exact same routine every day, you will never leave yourself open to moments of sudden discovery. Do you remember how spontaneous you were as a child? Anything can happen at any time. Do not punish yourself with the same routine every single day. And make sure to be open to opportunities that may pass through your mind but will never come back. Number 5. Most people don't do what they love. It's true. The masses are not the ones who live the lives they imagined. And the reason is that they didn't fight hard enough. They didn't make it happen for themselves. And the older you get, and the more you look around, the easier it becomes to believe that you'll end up the same. Don't fall for the trap. Number 6. Many stop learning after college. Ask anyone you know the last good book they read, and I'll bet most of them respond with, wow, I haven't read a book in a long time. Many people think that learning stops after finishing school or getting a degree. The truth is that education never ends and the most successful people know that learning is a lifelong journey. Number 7. Success is a relative term. As kids, we're taught to reach for success. What does that really mean? Success for one person could mean the opposite for someone else. Define your own success and don't follow what other people think of it. Many people discover that late in life. Number 8. The only person you have to face in the morning is yourself. When you're younger, it feels like you have to please the entire world. You don't. Do what makes you happy and create the life you want to live for yourself. You'll see someone you truly love staring back at you every morning if you can manage that. Number 9. Your potential is directly correlated to how well you know yourself. Those who know themselves and maximize their strengths are the ones who go where they want to go. Those who don't know themselves and avoid the hard work of looking inward leave life by default. They do not have the ability to shape their own future. Number 10. You grow rich when you seek new experiences, not material things. Material things break. They collect dust. They might even be forgotten over time. Experiences, however, leave with you forever. Oliver Wendell Holmes once wrote that a mind that is stretched by a new experience can never go back to its old dimensions. This is so true. Experiences stretch us because they push us out of our comfort zones and into our growth zones. And as we gather more experiences, we grow, curate memories, build relationships, we evolve, and thus, we grow richer in mind, body, and spirit. Number 11. Your purpose is to be you. What is the meaning of life? To be you in everything you do, whatever that means to you, you are your own creator. You are your own evolving masterpiece. Growing up is the realization that you are both the sculpture and the sculptor, the painter and the portrait. You can paint yourself however you want. Number 12. 
It's okay to feel lost sometimes. Feeling lost is normal and no matter how put together, everyone around you seems, when you dig deeper, you'll realize that they're all just figuring it out as they go. Every business owner is constantly trying to figure out how to reach more customers. Every couple in a relationship is constantly trying to figure out how to keep it working, and every new parent is constantly trying to figure out how to maneuver their way through parenthood. The truth is that feeling lost is a sign of growth. It means that the things you once valued are no longer the things that matter to you today. And do you know why? It's because you are no longer your younger self. Number 13. Share your progress, not your goals, and you'll always be motivated. Research has proven that the premature praise we receive from sharing our goals in public becomes a substitute for actually achieving them. That's why a lot of people talk about what they want to do, but never actually end up doing it. So if you want to move the needle, start sharing your progress and stop sharing your goals. Start sharing what you're actively doing and stop sharing what you want to be doing. Number 14. You are wasting your life by comparing it to others. Every second you spend comparing your life to someone else's is a second spent wasting yours, so stop comparing and instead, create your own definition of success instead. Comparing ourselves to others. It is one of the most toxic habits that can drastically affect our mental health and emotional well-being. The truth is that each one of us is unique. We all have our own stories to keep writing and our own paths to keep walking down. Instead of comparing yourself with others, create your own definition of success. As long as you stay true to this definition, you are successful. Number 15. Everything you do is born out of a set of beliefs. Whether right or wrong, everything you do is born out of a set of beliefs. This implies that self-care is not all roses and chocolates. Self-care is going deep within to surface all the subconscious behavioral and thought patterns that are sabotaging your growth. Self-care is looking in the mirror and asking yourself these hard questions. What's weighing me down? What do I need to let go of in order to allow myself to bloom upward? What habits and false ideals don't serve me any longer? What self-limiting beliefs am I holding on to? Self-care means realizing that you are your greatest obstacle. And that's one of the greatest lessons you can learn in life. Your beliefs, your ideals, your habits, the way you speak to and about yourself, the extent of your self-acceptance, your subconscious behavioral and thought patterns. All these things, if not evaluated and upgraded, will sabotage your progress in life. Number 16. In an age of speed and acceleration, aim to slow down. When you live slowly, you become more mindful and intentional about how you live your life, and you begin to take care of your body, mind, and soul so that they can take care of you. We're now living in an age of speed and acceleration where a rhythm of rush can be found all around us. Fast food, fast fashion, fast internet, fast travel, fast money. Slow living is a life philosophy. It's a state of mind you embody in your day-to-day -day living, and it's the antithesis of mindless hustle. It shifts the focus away from speed and efficiency and onto the idea that we should do what's most important to us and our growth and do it as best as we can instead of as fast as possible. It improves attention, creates stillness, and develops emotional maturity. Number 17. Fear is not there to stop you. Fear is there to show you that you're interested and you care. So befriend fear, don't fight it, because once you do something that scares you, it becomes almost insignificantly small the second time around. Once you realize that fear is a feeling that arises only when you're interested in something, your relationship with fear changes. You stop fighting it. Instead, you start leaning into it and befriending it, which puts you in the driver's seat and in control of your destiny. If you have made it this far, do you agree with this list? Is there anything you believe we may have missed? Let us know in the comment section below. To learn more, check out other videos on this channel and the links in the description. If you enjoyed this video, don't forget to subscribe. See you in the next video.